Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for the week ahead. So it's from the 10th until the 16th. This is for the sign of Cancer. So Cancer's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Cancer for the week ahead? What do we have for Cancer? One more card, please. There we go. This is the one that fell out. Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. Boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. Desk. Pay attention to your work. So, those are pretty strong messages right there. So, someone is leaving your life. You're going to be taking a journey. Well, maybe it's a physical journey. Could be a mental journey. Either way, it's going to make you wiser. And you're going to need to increase your efforts, okay? There's something that you need to work a little bit harder on. And it's interesting. I guess we should put this one over here because it says pay attention to your work. It may have something to do with you, something that you're working on. You need to increase your efforts. Um, somebody's taking, and if this isn't you taking a journey, you know, you somebody else in your life may be taking a journey. Um, what do we have? What do we have for cancer for the week ahead? What do we have for cancer? The fool, this is a journey. This is a fresh start. It's starting over. It's leaving everything behind. This is a new phase that is about to begin in your life. This is have no fear, step forward, stepping into unknown territory. This could be a spur of the moment thing. So something could happen all of a sudden where you are um, in a place where you step into unknown territory. It happens, I think it's all of a sudden. This is a fresh start. This is starting a new journey. The world, oh my God. Ah. Uh, well, this is definitely a new beginning. So you are about to be, this is a whole new you, okay? This is absolutely a whole new you. This is a accomplishment of a phase. One phase of your life is over. It's over, okay? Some of you may be traveling to another part of the world, moving to another part of a world. the world. This is going to a new destination. It is leaving everything behind. Now, these are both majors, so this is the universally driven. It's out of your control. The universe has something in store for you, okay, and it's a new beginning, okay? Something that you have been doing for some time, it's something long-term in your life that you have been focused on. could have something to do with your job. It could have something to do with where you live. Something that has been very prominent to you in your life is about to change, Okay, this is a this is a whole new life. Okay, um, there could even be some public recognition that is coming up. You know, you there, whatever that means to you. Okay, um, this is completing one cycle and beginning a new one. So you are about to step into. This is like a whole new world, a whole new life. You may need to step forward with blind faith, okay? You're going to need to have faith. Let go of your fear. And you know, when the fool starts the new journey, they do not take anything with them. This is a new journey, okay? So whatever it is that you built up in the past is not coming with you, okay? This is brand new. So this is something brand new. Ooh, two of cups reversed and the ace of cups reversed. Ah, and I've used this deck many times. So, and you just saw me shuffle it. So, this is uh, going to be an emotional time. Change is the easy. Twos are about change. 
and choices. You may not have faith. You may not have trust. You may feel like this is uncomfortable to you. I do feel like this is going to be uncomfortable to you. I think it's going to be very emotional. I think there's some sort of loss. There's a split. Okay, the two of cups reverse is a separation. And this is this could be this could be from anybody in your life. It doesn't have to be a lover. It could be anybody. Okay? Someone is leaving your life. Okay? That's what we got here. Um it 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 it, it, it is what it is. Sometimes you have to leave things behind to start fresh and that's part of your journey. Okay? It's part of your journey. So you know, this is not going to be easy. I think this week it's going to be very, very emotional. Uh, somebody is leaving your life. And, and you may be leaving theirs. That could be the case. Um, this is emotional shutdown. This could have, there could be some heart issues here. Somebody may have some, some heart issues. Aces represent the heart. Okay? And it's reversed. This is a loss of emotional content. There could be a blockage. Okay? Um... Mm. the sun death and judgment reverse so somebody has made a poor judgment call there's poor health judgment is poor health and somebody has made a bad choice they, ha they don't listen to any advice and this is a lesson the world card is a lesson being learned. Now, now the sun is extreme happiness. Once you start on this new path and leave whatever this is behind, which is not going to be easy, just saying, there will be happiness. This is, this is a big, bright opportunity to start over. It really is. Holding on is getting old. It has gotten old. I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could be dealing with an Aries. You have Scorpio a couple times. Um, but there's been some poor judgment here. There's a poor judgment call. There's been some lies. There's been deception. This is being subject to trial. Okay, somebody may be put on trial. They may be questioned um, for their actions. There's bad karma here. Or, well, judgment is a card of karma. Okay, this is, um, we have an ending here. We have an ending because the world card is the last card in the deck. The fool is the first. So the ending that leads to the new beginning, but this ending is going to be emotional. And I think that you may not be aware that it's coming. Be, you know, you've been holding on and holding on and holding on and whether or it's you or somebody else. This is lack of awareness. Okay. This is uh, a bad choice. It's time to move on from a bad choice. Somebody's been trying to hide the truth. They have. Now, death reverse is resisting change. It had being held back by fear. But this is have no fear. This is an opportunity for you to start your new life. So there's the death world. I mean, we have and this is the birth of a new life. This is. So this is, whatever is happening is a rebirth. It's the birth of a new life. This is a new beginning. It is a breakthrough. But it doesn't come easy. Okay? It doesn't. Four of Pentacles reversed. Four of Wands reversed. This party is over. The honeymoon is over. It's cleanup time. This is a messy situation. It's over. The, cele there's not, the celebration is over. You know, somebody has been in, in this. Maybe they've been in some sort of state of, you know, euphoria kind of thing. It's over. Okay. You can't hold on anymore with both of these cards. You can't hold on. You're going to be letting go of something. And this is all about your rebirth. It's all about your new beginning. Um... It's time for you to relax. It's time for you to live your best life. And I feel like you are in a situation with somebody that uh, is not compatible. There's not compatible. There's There could be an argument right around the corner or a breakup or a separation. This is uh, some sort of abuse. Okay? And, I don't need, and, and, and when you get cups like this, it could be drugs or alcohol abuse. Um, 
Anyhow, last card, Six of Cups. Six of Cups is, is memories, it's nostalgia, it's um, thinking about the past a lot, remembering the past. Um, I feel like this week you are going, you may be pushed, you may be, you may come to the edge, not pushed. I don't think you're going to be pushed. I think you're going to, you're going to reach the point. I think you're going to reach the point where, uh, you know that it's time to let go or somebody else does. This is letting go. This four of wands reversed is a split, and so is the two of cups. So there's a there's a breakup here. There's a breakup. There's a split. Uh, there's there there this may be an unrequited love situation, you know, where it's one sided. There's there's not reciprocation, and I think somebody has held on. They've held on. They've held on. It's like what I wanted to say was held on for dear life. But it's really time to let go. The Four of Pentacles reverses. It is letting go. It's it's time for you to let go of the fear. It's time for you to open up. It's time for you to be happy. You know, it's it, for some of you, you know, this has to do with a divorce or some sort of uh, partnership that just, you know, you may have gotten into when you were young. You know, maybe you were really, really young or something. And you just didn't know what love was or who knows what the case is. Um, the world card is an accomplishment. This is the end of a phase. It's the end. This ending leads to extreme happiness. It leads to a new life. This is a life-giving energy. This is, this is um, beauty. Okay, this is freedom. It's freedom. It's freedom from stress. This is bliss. This is a new day. You have a major new beginning here that comes after a ending that you have been trying to avoid. Um, there's probably going to be an incident with the death reversed. There's going to be an incident with whoever this partner is. There's going to be there's going to be an incident that. Uh, forces you to let go, you know? This is refusing to wake up, refusing to see the truth. Somebody has been refusing to see the truth about a partner. It's one-sided. It is one-sided. The devil reversed. So the devil and death both reversed can be extremes. So this could be, you know, definitely an incident or an accident. This could be an accident, could be an incident, could be a near-death experience. It could be an addiction that gets out of hand with that devil next to those two cups cards, okay? It could be an addiction that, that really gets out of hand. Um, there's been a lot of suffering and you must free yourself uh, there is breaking free because this is breaking free and breaking free. So you are breaking free from something that is unhealthy. But I think that you have been resisting it. Because like I said about that euphoria, it made you feel so good for so long. And I think all the memories that you have of it is what's been holding you back. All the memories. But I think this week you're going to be, you are going to be breaking free. Something is going to happen. Okay, I think you have been bound to something that has kept you in some sort of deep, dark place and brought you a lot of anxiety and depression. Okay, and I think you have been trying to avoid making a decision. And if it's not you, it could be somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody could end up in court as well because of the judgment card, whether it's upright or reversed. This, is, this could be court rulings not going in your favor. Okay, just saying, just saying, you know. Uh, there is some sort of, um, it feels like it's unjust behavior or it's toxic behavior that is going to be dealt with this week. And, it, and I don't know if it's a death or a near death experience with death reversed, but this, this may force you to, uh, leave 
because this is leave. Leave everything behind. You got to go. You got to go. We do have a new beginning here, but it comes after death. And that's just all there is to it. I can't make it up. I can't. And death doesn't have to be physical. It can be mental. It absolutely can be. So this is this is a, a major ending in your life um, that leads you to happiness. It leads you to extreme bliss. It does. But you have to step outside of your comfort zone. And I think you have been, maybe you've been comfortably numb, you know, holding on to something that wasn't emotionally fulfilling some sort of partnership you know maybe you've been self-medicating or something um but this party is definitely over with that four of wands reversed it's a very messy situation um there's definitely not any compatibility with whoever this person is in your life this is somebody that you've probably known for some time they may have made you feel loved or you you when you were with or you loved them you know this is there, there was love here at one point okay and I think it was like a euphoric kind of thing but it wasn't it wasn't brought on under the right kind of circumstances it was almost like a codependency thing it was some sort of addiction maybe you didn't want to be alone so you got with this person and you romanticized about love you know this could be love right that kind of thing but I think you've reached the point where you know you have to let go because this isn't compatible it's just not compatible so anyway, I feel like this week you have a new beginning. Uh, this is an opportunity to go after happiness. This is the birth. This is the rebirth. It's the, uh, it really is the birth of a new life with these three cards right here. This is completing a major phase in your life. And this is something that you did not want to let go of. Definitely not. But this is over. It's over. And it's time for you to be happy. But I do think there's going to be some sort of sadness because of these cards right here. I think there may be some tears. Because you're breaking free from something that felt so good in the beginning. So this week, I feel like you're going to be stepping over the edge or stepping into new territory. You're going to be starting your new life, leaving this uh, toxic situation behind. And I think it's like, it's bittersweet. It is bittersweet. I think you're going to be going some place where you will be accepted. Where you can be carefree. Where you can just be yourself. Where you can relax. Where, you know, it's, this is like almost like a return to innocence, the Six of Cups. It really is. It's where you can just be free. There's a lot of freedom here. We do. Freedom, 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 freedom. So you got a lot of freedom here. Being freed from a situation that is not healthy at all. There's been some overindulgence. There's been a lot of arguing. There's a lot, been a lot of uh, maybe even, I, I hate to say it, but maybe even bullying with the Two of Cups reversed. There, there's been a lot of um, inconsistency. There's really no stability here. There isn't. But there was, there may have been lust. Or whatever this was fulfilled some sort of need. And it's ego. The devil was ruled by ego. It fed your ego. So anyway, I feel as though this week you are stepping into new territory and leaving this toxic situation behind. And I, I feel like there's an incident that you didn't want to see because judgment is a wake-up call and it's reversed that you are... It's almost like you're forced to see it. You're, or you, because you know, I want to keep saying force. I don't know why. So you may be forced to let go. 
whatever this situation is may have nearly I mean this is a near death experience you know the death in devil reverse is a disaster okay they are so somebody has been in some sort of relationship that ended in disaster it just wasn't compatible and but holding on to something isn't com if that isn't compatible you know just because of codependency reasons is a big issue in the world today so I think this week you are going to be uh, stepping into unknown territory you're about to start a new phase of your life you're gonna be doing something that you never done before I do think it's going to be an emotional release. Good luck.